Oh, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. Yay, a brand new day. It is 6.58 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for me, since I live in the Pacific Northwest. Thumbs up. So, yay. And I'm also <coughs> a slight cough still, drainage, but hey, no hyper vlogger I. I leave in all this stuff. Thumbs up for that. Anyway, though, first off, of course, the Shelton, Washington, weather, plague, rat, and spider report. Weather, oh boy, it rained last night. Now, I'll, I'll talk about that more with my walkie story. <laughs> uh, but right now, it's dark and coolish outside. I don't know what it's going to be like. I just heard a vehicle go by. It sounded kind of wettish, so it was probably raining. Thumbs up. Spider report gangly leg spiders here and there the garden spider in the corner is still doing well now I have to admit I killed the spider this morning and I, I do feel kind of bad about that but I also have an unwritten contract with spiders and that you know it's like if, as long as you don't know, like come on to me I'm gonna do my best to not hurt you well, I was in the bathroom this morning, taking care of business, and I noticed that there was a ganglion spider on the wall. And as I was watching it, it suddenly swung down and then dropped all the way down to the floor. And then it didn't just drop to the floor, it clambered quickly over the top of my scale, and then started charging across the floor toward me. So, when it got within a couple inches of my foot, because no, uh, you're not going to climb on me. You ran all the way across the room so that you could run on me. No, there's obviously something wrong with you. And so, goodbye. Because spiders, they don't like people. We're not their prey. And spiders have finely tuned senses for danger. They can sense amazing things, uh, quite honestly. I mean, you move across the room, they can feel it. They have such finely toned senses, toned, honed senses. So for this thing to suddenly charge at me across the floor, there's obviously something wrong. So, bye-bye. It happens, though. It happens. I don't feel proud about it. I don't feel bad about it either. I mean, we are a part of nature, and nature is red in tooth and claw. So, kill or be killed, eat or be eaten, I will try my best to live in harmony with everything around me. But... So, one the spider today, and I, like I said, I feel bad about that, but I don't feel terrible about it. Because I don't like to kill things. I don't like killing. If I could eat food properly without having to worry about it too much I, and not eat meat anymore, I probably would. I've gone through periods in my life where I've just stopped eating meat and felt better. And so right now, the only time I eat meat is if it's like in my food. Like, you know, I will eat chili and there's cow meat in chili. So I'm eating meat, but past that, I don't purchase meat. I don't do stuff like that. It's just, it, if it's already pre-mixed into my food, then yeah, I'll do it. But I, I don't like killing. I don't, I wish we didn't have to. I wish we didn't even have to kill plants, but eat or be eaten. Yay. Anyway, though. <laughs> oh. My apologies, sinus issues. I did go walkies last night. It was later than I meant to be. Oh my gosh, it was like after seven o'clock before I finally was able to get out of the house. Oh, cause that meant it would be after nine o'clock by the time I got back. And these days I'm usually in bed by nine o'clock. But I walked to Walmart. All the way there was great, fine. It was damp-ish, but I didn't need my umbrella. Got into Walmart. I'll tell that story in a minute. But when on my way back, the minute I stepped out of the store with all of the stuff that I needed that was extremely heavy for the three-mile trip back, well, that's when it was raining. 
that's when I had to have the umbrella up. So I had to have very unbalanced purchases with the heavy stuff in the non-umbrella arm and then the lighter stuff in the umbrella arm. So you gotta keep swapping so that, you know, this arm's not holding as much and it's up higher while this one hangs and it's heavy and off balance and then swaps so that your muscles get better. Of course, you know, two thirds of the way through it, swapping isn't being as refreshing. So it was uh, almost out entirely of energy by the time I got back. But it was wet and, and nasty and raining and it was heavy and painful. Yay. <laughs> Walmart. I'm going to be glad when my gift card is all used up and I don't have to head into the Petri dish of Walmart anymore. Because there are people that just charge through with no masks. For the first time I've seen, instead of pictures, people wearing face masks, you know, plastic face shield. Nothing else, so you're still spraying particles everywhere and it doesn't do a single bloody thing to help anyone. But they're wearing that. Or just done like that. It was... But the minute you walk in, it's out of your control. I can only hope. I tried my best to keep as, as calm as possible, had to keep working myself down because social anxieties make it tough to go into Walmart in the first place. I, I got social anxieties that make it difficult for me just to go walking during the daytime because people are out and about. Going into Walmart is tough in the first place. Going into Walmart now, I feel like I've covered myself in a meat suit and I'm wandering around through a very hungry lion exhibit with no shields, no fences, just, hey, there's the door on the other side. If you make it, glad to see you there. So I just did my best, got my stuff as quickly as I could, tried to avoid as many as people as possible, many as people as possible, as many people as possible. I don't know what happened. If you buy a fingernail or toenail clipper at Walmart, they're under lock and key. You can't just grab one off of a counter no, everything else you can, but when you get to that, you have to go get somebody to come over, unlock it, take out any fingernail clipper sets that you want, even if it's just like two bucks, and then they lock it back up, and then they give it to you after they go over and open up the electronic alarm seal boxes, and then you take the big heavy box with your $2 fingernail clipper set inside of it and you've got to go pay for it at the counter because they need to unseal it and open it to take it out so that you can get it. All the other stuff that you can easily walk away with that's like $15, $20, that's fine. But the fingernail clipper sets, that $2 purchase, I don't know why it's under lock and key, but it is. So I had to go through the line and be around people that way and then talk to the, the customer service cashier. Normally I don't mind that in a pandemic. Nah, yeah, I mind that. I want to be around the machine that, that I don't have to worry about spraying particles back at me. So, But I left and it was as good as it could be. I'm as safe as I could be. Yay. And of course, I still continue to erase comments that are just total disinformation out of the comment section because there are still people that say, oh, masks are communism, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. And so it's like, no, your comment, that that's misinfo. Goodbye. 
or you're just giving in to this wasks do nothing it's like i worked in healthcare for 15 years where i had to wear masks to sell save myself and the people i was working with i've worked with doctors and nurses i've worked in hospitals i know the science you who say masks don't work ain't got nothing but maybe this up here with less than science and maybe some youtube videos of some alt right right wing grifter who just wants your money no just wear a bloody mask Ugh. but <laughs> now that that's out of the way it was that whole communism socialism because when people when you see people especially of course the manga and red hat types conservatives regressives when they say oh that's communism or that's socialism don't wear a mask that's communism all you're doing is wearing a, is carrying a sign that says i am easily manipulable please fool me i will listen to you if you make me feel good because communism in its basic form can be boiled down to that one sentence you know it's there are various forms of communism i'm not a big communism fan but that doesn't mean i'm going to be a you know automatic it's horrible but there are various types but basically what it's supposed to be is you know from each according to your ability to each to your needs so if you can work and do things you should and if you need help you should get help in practical terms with human nature it falls apart but that's not communism's fault that's human nature in its idealistic form there's nothing wrong with that but when you say wearing a mask is communist really Wearing a mask so that you don't get sick or so that other people don't get sick is the same as going out and performing labor for free and someone helping you when you are sick and unable to work so that you don't die. Really? Really? Or, oh, that's socialism. Oh, that's this. It's like all you're doing is you don't understand this stuff. You're showing you don't understand it. You're being proud that you don't understand it. And you're showing other people that you are proud to be easily manipulable by people that just want to hurt you and don't care about you. So, yay. <laughs> yeah, I don't like alt-wing, alt-wing, the alt-right, right-wing grifter types because they don't care about people. They're, you're just there to give them money and so they will tell you what you want to hear. They will wrap you up into a frenzy. They will just tell you what you want to hear to reinforce what you want to hear and what you think so that you will support them. And hypocrisy runs in their veins like blood, so yay. I can't do that. I got too much empathy. I care about people. So, thumbs up. I'm ranting about all sorts of things that just don't really mean a thing. Also, I sort of mentioned this, and I can't remember now if I, if I did it at all, because I talked about my social anxieties and the way I feel. Right now, social anxieties are terrible, and I hate social anxieties, but boy, are they a good idea. And I've even mentioned that with, uh, talked about it, not mentioned it, talked about it with my therapist. It's like, you know, right now, in the middle of a pandemic, as we've got going on, social anxieties are like a, a survival feature. It's not a bug anymore. It's, it's a definite feature. I don't like to go out where there are people. I don't like to interact with other people. I mean, I do, but there's that thing that's going on biochemically. And that makes sense right now because other people can kill you accidentally. And that's bad. So, social anxieties for the win? Ugh. I have a combination of some baked goods, yogurt, soda, and such all in my tummy. And so there's gaseous substances wanting to escape. Yay! And good morning. <laughs> Thank you for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. If you're still with me during all of my talks today, thumbs up and thank you very much. <coughs> <coughs>
I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people, or however many people have left me comments, in the last 24 hours. Even though I'm going to be counting in American Sign Language, though I get lost quite easily, so it's a range, and if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. And, yeah, I think that's it. There's more, but I set it out of order, so I, I got lost. <laughs> thumbs up for that. So, we have Ice Damon, thumbs up and thank you. We have Madison Hoover, greatly appreciated. Melissa Ramirez, thumbs up and thank you. We have Fatima Delgado, greatly appreciated. Inugami the Hound, thumbs up. Jonathan Heese, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up and thank you. Bruce Wayne is hot, damn straight he is. And thank you very, very much. We have Tit Griffin. Thank you very much. And largely the song is either Music to Delight by Kevin MacLeod or Tuba Walk by Bill Ferngreen. And then there is Christine Wortman. Thumbs up and thank you. Colin Rice now. Greatly appreciate. Kapaki. Thumbs up and thank you. Plum. Greatly appreciate. Rush on Timing. Always good to see you in the comments. We have Kelsey. Thumbs up. Christopher Thomas. Thumbs up. No. That was hot. Christopher Thomas, thumbs up and thank you. See, I get lost, so I've already lost myself. I don't know where I am anymore. Heath Barkley, greatly appreciated. Gory Gaming, thumbs up and thank you. R.L. Strange, greatly appreciated. And Potato Tron, good to see you in the comments. Thumbs up and thank you very much. Each and every one of you, you get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, if only in text. Definitely a thumbs up. Thank you so very, very much. Ugh. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money, I'll also have an Amazon wish list link as well. Hey, way cool. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate, or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very, very cool. I stress that because I usually get it backwards. I'm so silly. Definitely a thumbs up. <coughs> Hope he's smooth. Oh, this drainage. Now this very annoying cough. And of course, the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment suffers from a surplus of scorn. And it is ready, not exactly eager, but ready to cast that scorn upon any and all it finds disappointing. Its mockery is severe. Please do not disappoint the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment. It suffers from a surplus of scorn. Black Lives Matter. Good golly, Miss Molly. Why would people unsub from being told that, you know, maybe we shouldn't murder people? They have, but maybe we shouldn't murder people. And of course, justice for everybody, the jack-booted, brown-shirted fascist thugs in police uniforms keep brutalizing and murdering in their homes and on American streets. Why should that be controversial? But, please wear a mask, wash your hands, try not to touch your face, practice your social distancing, stay at home unless you have to go out. Please, we got to get through this alive. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. I have this video here. I have the second half of a video that I need to edit and then render and then upload. So there'll be something else and that's a good thing. So stay creative. Practice your self-care. And I will see you on the flip side.